The WFEL dry support bridges ordered by DMD for the Philippine Army are already in the Philippines, as confirmed by Max Defense Philippines. The Philippine Army has begun acquiring new assets that will enable it to have combat liaison capabilities as part of new capabilities introduced to improve its overall performance as a combat unit. The WFEL dry bridge uses the Rhine Metal Man military vehicle, Room MV, HX45M10 by 10 off-road military truck as its driving platform. WFEL won a contract with DND to fulfill the requirements under the Philippine Army Combat Engineering Equipment Lot 3 Dry Support Bridge Acquisition Project as part of the Horizon 2 phase of the RAF PMP. During the pre-procurement process, the Dry Support Bridge Acquisition was among those recommended for procurement from the UK through the Government to Government G2G, procurement process, along with three other combat engineering equipment systems. Through negotiations with the UK Ministry of Defence, it was recommended that the dry support bridge be supplied by the British company WFEL, which specialises in dry support bridge systems. In addition, bridges can be used for emergency roles such as after a disaster where the bridge is damaged or destroyed due to an accident. The Philippine Army is a growing user base of DSB military bridge systems. We are proud of the fact that the dry support bridge is the most technically advanced and rapidly deployable military bridge of its kind in the world and has proven its worth in combat and disaster relief situations. After time by adopting the dry buttress bridge, the Philippine Army ensures that it has the future capability to maneuver quickly across wet and dry gaps in complex physical terrain including man-made gaps, ravines and rivers, the dry support bridge (DSB) is a tactical military bridge system that allows use on longer spans, typically a minimum of 45 meters long, over a very short period of time. The system is included in the Philippine Army's Combat Engineering Equipment Project, which is a multi-lot project involving the acquisition of various sets of combat engineering equipment. According to Max Defense Philippines sources from the Philippine Army, the Department of National Defense DND, awarded the project in January 2021 to WFEL Limited based in the UK under a Philippines, UK Government to Government G2G, agreement supported by the UK Ministry of Defense. Two sets of dry support bridges, complete with transport trucks, handling system and all other accessories plus integrated logistics support ILS, are part of the deal which is estimated to be worth PHP 1.25 billion. The WFEL dry buttress bridge is an interesting system, which includes a launch system typically using a 10 by 10 military truck that builds a gantry that allows the supports and slings of the bridge to the other end of the river or barrier. It is approximately 49 meters long, has a military load classification of MLC 120, approximately 120 tons, and can be fully deployed in less than 90 minutes. Developed by a leading defense technology company, the WFEL Rhine Metal Man, Room MV, HX45M10 by 10 dry bridge has an innovative and durable design. With the ability to quickly construct sturdy and safe bridges in difficult terrain, these bridges will enable the Philippine Army to easily cross rivers, canyons and other difficult terrain during military and humanitarian relief operations. The arrival of the dry bridge has been greeted with enthusiasm by Philippine military officials, who believe that it will provide additional advantages in their mobility and maneuverability in the field. With the Rhine Metal Man, Room MV, HX45M10 by 10 WFEL dry bridge, the Philippine Army can increase their operational efficiency and respond quickly in situations that require quick access to hard-to-reach areas. It is hoped that with the introduction of this dry bridge, the Philippine Army will be better prepared and able to face future security challenges. This move is also part of the Philippines' commitment to strengthen its national defense and ensure the security and welfare of its people.